The state semifinals are this Friday. The Demons of Bismarck make a return trip after a year away. With a miracle win last week, the Demons are quick to turn the page to their next opponent, West Fargo Cheyenne. The game seemed all but over until a last second touchdown by West Fargo was poised to send Bismarck to overtime. That's when a senior Jack Steckler came up with the play of the game, blocking the game-tying extra point. I kind of just saw it throughout the whole game, and I was able to make an adjustment at the end there, and I got through the line and kind of stuck my hand up and made contact with the ball. That was a high school kid making an adjustment and understanding the, 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 what that moment meant, and uh, that was all him. You know, that was a, a senior captain who, you know, he's been through this before, and he took the opportunity, and, and thank God, because I probably wouldn't be standing talking with you. Bismarck found a way to win despite not having star running back Isaiah Hoos. Now with him out for the rest of the season, Lucas Miller will take over the reins. He played last year for us there a little bit, and uh, you know he's, he's our number two guy this year, and, and to be honest, he's probably a lot of number ones on a lot of teams. The game plan is simple but effective for Bismarck. Stick to what they do best. Well, I think we got to lean on our run game, which our line's been really well. And then our defense, we just got to get some stops because they have a really good run game as well. One big question will be the rest versus rust factor. West Fargo Cheyenne hasn't played a game in nearly a month, something Bismarck will look to exploit. Playoff football is always different than regular season football, so I think that's that's big on our part to get a, get a win there and get some confidence going on in the playoffs. You know, three weeks to go for them is a long time, and so that's some things that, you know, hopefully we can use in our favor and just kind of ride this momentum out a little bit and, and hopefully they are rusty. And so, you know, hopefully their timing's off because a lot of their offense is timing. The message is simple at practice this week. Seize the moment. You never want to be the guy looking back thinking um, what I could have done better if if I could have done some things better. And, uh, you know, if, if you're going to go out, go out in style and go out playing your best game.